Hey everybody, it's Matt from Junior Horror Movies, and welcome to a little di bit different video. Uh, you know, usually I like to show off my horror films and talk about horror movies. I decided to talk about something a little different. Uh, another thing I also like to, you know, collect besides, you know, watching and watching movies is video games. And why not talk about some horror video games? So I want to show off my horror video game PS4 collection. I have a PS4, love my PS4. Maybe down the road, years, I'll probably get a PS5, but I'm in no rush. <laughs> uh, I'm very happy that they're still putting out games for the PS4. They'll put them on both platforms. Always been a PS, a PlayStation guy, never was Xbox or anything like that. And uh, yeah, so anyway, without further ado, let's get on with it. So I broke it up into different piles. One is, uh, um, there the, they were the movies, then made into video games. And then pretty much you just have like the games, some were turned into movies. And you're not going to see a lot of big name ones because I'm not a big name brand guy for video games. I'll get them down the road if I find them like a pawn shop cheap or anything. But other than that, we'll get into the actual movies that turn into video games first. Uh, the first one we're going to talk about, of course, is Friday the 13th. Again, sorry for the glare here. Uh, I'm shooting in my living room. And I figured that's where all my games are. Now, the all news with about this game, if you haven't heard yet, they are shutting this game down. Uh, it's going to be sh going to get shut down in 2014. Uh, they're going to have all their downloadable stuff up to 2023, I think, October, I think it is. So if you're on the fence about picking it up, grab it. I'm probably going to go grab the other versions just to have in my collection <laughs> just to have on display or whatnot i have the nintendo one all in packaged so this will probably be going on the shelf afterwards so yeah it was a fun game you get to play as either a counselor or as jason and my buddies and i would play this one a lot it was a good time it's sad to see this one go but i heard a rumor that they're going to be putting out another friday the 13th game we will see <clears throat> all right the next up um i actually found this at a gamestop cheap and then also again email <clears throat> two days later we want to buy it back because you know it's worth more mm -hmm. yeah right that is the godzilla game and uh godzilla of course king of the monsters insane brawler these go uh pricey it's always been godzilla has always been one of the expensive ones to find if you can find this dirt cheap snag it because it's going to go up it's already been going up in price like i said two days later gamestop sends me an email saying we'd like to buy it back no. <laughs> they don't know me because I like my horror movies and kaijus. That's definitely a keeper. I have the GameCube and the Wii one just because. Why not? All right, the next one I haven't had a chance to play yet, but I heard it's kind of boring. Maybe it's not. I don't know. That's the Blair Witch on PlayStation. Um, pretty much you're in the woods. You have a flashlight in your dog trying to escape the Blair Witch. It's not like a survival type game. So... I figured I'll grab this one. I found it dirt cheap. Haven't had a chance to play it yet. I'm not a huge gamer. Like, I don't play games, like, for hours and hours and hours on end. But if I get bored, I'll pop one in, play for a little while. Uh, the next is I consider horror, whatnot, and that's the Ghostbusters, uh, the game remastered. Technically, if you think about it, this is kind of like Ghostbusters 3, but they turned it into a game, which was a lot of fun. You either play as a rookie and they teach you how to uh, learn ghost busting and everything. It's voiced by all the actors, even uh, Harold Ramis. Uh, I think, yeah, he died after this was made. They all, Dan Aykroyd and him got together and did this together. So this game was a lot of fun. And uh, yeah, I definitely recommend checking this one out. Uh, pretty fun, like all the bosses are pretty cool. It's all tied to the Ghostbusters line, except for the answer to the call. But other than that, Fantastic Ghostbusters game. Speaking of Fantastic Ghostbusters game, we have Ghostbusters Spirits Unleashed. This one is the online Ghostbusters game where you can design your own Ghostbuster and everything and uh, play online. You can either play as a ghost or play as a buster. And, you know, you have to either haunt the whole building or, of course, bust the ghosts. Uh, they just added some downloadable content to this, thank God. Uh, they added the Extreme Ghostbusters, so you can get skins and outfits to look like them. You just have to do the uh, 
kind of like achievements or the, I forgot what they were called, the missions or whatever to unlock. <clears throat> but I have a lot of fun. It's a good kill some time, play online. So, yeah, definitely Ghostbusters if you're a Ghostbusters fan. Unleashed, a lot of way to go. Uh, the next one I actually picked up at a uh, pawn shop for super cheap. That's the uh, Goosebumps game for PlayStation 4. God, I have not played this one yet, so I uh, figured I can't pass it up for super cheap. If anybody's playing this one, let me know. But Ghost Goosebumps, the video game. Uh, next up, I played it for a little while, and I kind of got a little bored. It's another online game called Aliens. This is the Fire Team Elite, where you get to play as a Space Marine. The gun, the, the firing is fun. You get the sound effects of everything like that. But this is more like an online. For some reason, I don't see many people playing this online. I've tried, and the games take forever to load up, especially if you're playing multiplayer. So if you play the storyline, it's a little rough. But again, it's an Aliens game. Had to scoop it up. Again, sorry for the glare. Uh, and then I found out a pawn shop, and that is uh, The Walking Dead. This is The New Frontier. Another one I have not played yet, but again, found it for super cheap just because it's The Walking Dead. Had to have that in the PlayStation game <laughs> cartridge, format, disc, whatever the fuck you want to call it. So if anybody's playing this one, let me know. All right, the next... Uh, we have, I play with all of my friends a lot, and that is World War Z, just killing zombies. It's fun, it's just, it's all online. Uh, you can play the storyline, but playing online is a lot better, and uh, pretty much you play as certain characters, and you get the swarm of, they call them the Zeeks, and it, they swarm, and it's insane. We play this on hard mode, oh, good luck. <laughs> but it's actually a lot of fun, it's a good time waster, World War Z. Another one I play online, which is a lot of fun, is the Evil Dead game. This one you get to play as different characters from the different uh, Evil Dead line. You have the characters from Evil Dead 1, 2, uh, Army of Darkness, and the Evil Dead, uh, Ash vs. the Evil Dead, the, the TV series. And also, too, is you can play as a Deadite. And there's also different type of Deadites that you can play. And they're all the ones that play from different lines of the movies. Uh... Bruce Campbell does voice Ash Williams, which is awesome. There's different skins that you can get for Ash and other characters. I like playing Eric the Red from Army of Darkness. <laughs> uh, he's a fun one to, to play. And they all voice are all different, the same actors. Pretty cool game. Very gory. And there's actually jump scares in the game. You'll be playing along and all of a sudden this dead eye comes flashing on your screen. And you're like, holy fuck. <laughs> Pretty cool. And next, I found this at uh, Best Buy. Limited Run will put out certain games on in the stores, like at Best Buy. If you're not familiar with Limited Run, they are a company that puts out uh, different type of games, usually online, uh, very independent games to them, so they can actually have a physical release. Uh, they're another company that likes to put out physical only, and they'll put out on digital, or take a digital game and put it out on physical. <clears throat> Uh, the game I got from Best Buy, this is the Stranger Things Part 3 game. Uh, they have a different version. It's the same game, but different artwork. But this is the one that you can get at uh, Best Buy. And, uh, yeah, a fun game. It's kind of like you look down. It's kind of like a diablo -esque type style. <clears throat> and uh, it plays just like the TV show. So if you've never seen Part 3, uh, Season 3, Recommend it. Man, very glary. I'm very sorry for the glare. And I don't think it has reversible cover art, which it does not. So, but they give you the cool booklet. And there's a creature from the mall in there. So, yeah, you get to play as the different characters from the TV show. So, yeah. But I've got also to a limited run. They're very limited. They'll put out a certain run for a while. And then once it's gone, it's gone. All right, now let's get into the. Uh, well, I got a little group here. These are the games that are games that got turned into movies or, yeah, close to that. Like we have, I picked up one, which is Resident Evil Part 2. I like this Part 2. This is the remastered edition. So if you remember playing Part 2 on PS1 days, very similar. Good time. 
So yeah, Evil Dead 2. And of course, I picked up uh, House of the Dead. This is the, <coughs> excuse me, House of the Dead and House of the Dead remake. Very cool slip cover. You slide that out and it's got the big hole in the bust through. That's the lenticular. And then there's your House of the Dead uh, game. These are all, PS4 is region free for games. So you can actually get different games from different regions, which is pretty cool. But the movies, though, are different. But yeah, House of the Dead. The remake, the re it's kind of cool. It reminds me very much of the arcade, but the controls are very rough. <laughs> Once you get used to the controls, it gets a lot better because you have to use the analog joysticks to move the, the sights and everything. Yeah. Uh, next up is uh, Fatal Frame, uh, Maiden of Black Water. I've never played many of the Fatal Frame games. Uh, they came out in PlayStation 1, I think. And I saw this one for a couple bucks. <laughs> yeah. Found this is actually goes pretty pricey, so I was kind of I was like, I'll scoop that up. I always wanted to check out the Fatal Frame games, and uh, I'm not sure if I had to play any of the others first or not. But I figured I'll grab that while we have it. Uh, another limited run game. This one is this is so cool. They brought it back a classic, back from Genesis days, which is uh, Zombies Ate My Neighbors, and it comes with Ghoul Patrol, which is kind of like the sequel to. Zombies Ate My Neighbors. So if you remember playing this on Sega Genesis, yeah, I played those. So nostalgic on this one. Had a great time playing uh, those games. You can play online now, too. So you can play with a buddy if you have both the games. So yeah, uh, again, this is a limited run. It even comes with uh, 3D glasses. Uh, got a poster. You got the booklet and everything. And uh, so if you're big into the nostalgia... It's got both of them on there. They got their own achievements and everything that you can do. And this is again li uh, limited run number 419, I think it is. Again, a lot of these one now will be very hard to find. You have to rely on eBay. Okay, now the rest are just horror games in general. Uh, like the first one I found at GameStop for a couple bucks was Evolve. I found out this is actually now a dead game, so you can't really play it, I heard. Where you get to play as like a hunter, and you can play as the hunted. Like you can play as the monster taking out the crew and everything. It came with a cool slipcover, which I thought was kind of neat. And usually, I know many games don't come with slipcovers. So I figured it's all embossed and everything. Got that cool imprint of the creature's glove. So I can't really play it. I think it's dead. I haven't had a chance. If anybody's aware that this is a dead game, let me know. Hate that though, that these games become dead games, so you can't play them. Back in the day, you could just pop the cartridge in and just play all the time. Now games die. It's kind of sad. Uh, another zombie game is uh, Back for Blood. It's another one of those online zombie games, which I had to try out. Just got that that long ago. No, that's a different game. I've had this one, so i got to play this. I think it was on sale at Best Buy, so I figured... Heck, I'll scoop that up. Uh, next up, it can be considered horror. And that is, of course, is Maneater. You play as a shark going around eating people. They did that version like with Jaws. Jaws Unleashed was the game. And you play as Jaws eating people and uh, animals and shit like that. This is very similar. You get to evolve your shark and change the shark. And you have different bosses, which are animals and people on boats and shit. So, yeah, I consider this a horror game. Uh, next up is uh, Until Dawn. It's one of those ones where, I think this is one of those um, movie games where you watch the movie and you have to interact. So, kind of like similar to uh, The Quarry. Uh, the Quarry is another one I was actually very excited for to play. Oh, it gets boring. <laughs> For, I, I was talking to my friends, and they're like, yeah, you have to get to the boring parts, and actually gets better. Where you pretty much watch it, and you can interact by uh, using the joystick at certain times during it to make your character do decisions or to interact differently. They say a different uh, speech or to dodge things, like, you know, running into the woods and you trip and fall, that kind of shit. 
Uh, Ted Ramsey does the voice, and he's actually in it. His uh, character's in there. So is Lynn Shea and a bunch of other uh, characters, which I thought was pretty neat. So I was very excited, but we were playing online. You're just watching. If you're not doing anything, you're trying to play a game, you get kind of sleepy. I fell asleep through it. So, because they're, they're all yelling at me going, make your decision. And then I started waking up going, oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, so I guess I had to give it some more time to play and to uh, hopefully enjoy it some more. I heard it's a good game. Uh, next up is Stubbs the Zombie, uh, a rebel without a pulse. This one you play as Stubbs. You go around pretty much attacking people and eating their brains and turning them into zombies. And uh, I know it got some hate because of the whole uh, violence, I guess you want to call it. But it's a fun game. I definitely recommend playing this game for sure. Definitely check it out. Stubbs the Zombie. Big zombie comedies and whatnot. Uh, next is another fun online uh, game, which I play a lot which is uh, Zombie Army 4, where you're in World War II. You play as different characters to fight off uh, zombified Hitler and zombies and during World War II. There's zombie tanks, there's zombie jeeps, uh, all these weird <laughs> type of zombies. Uh, the fucking screamers are a pain in the fucking ass. But it's a very fun game. You level up your character, you can unlock different guns and whatnot. The x-ray kills are fantastic, especially if you're sniping and you do a specific kill. It will follow the bullet through and hit the zombie wherever you hit them, and they do an x-ray shot. I fucking love it. Uh, next up is another <coughs> limited run. This is number 158. Uh, I was just playing this one called Carry On. Wow, you play as the monster. It kind of reminds me of The Thing, and... Uh, you play as this monster in this underground laboratory, and you go around trying to escape and to expand. And you start grabbing scientists and uh, other people trying to shoot you. You eat them, and you start growing. You start getting even bigger and bigger. You have uh, tentacles. Uh, you can throw like webs and whatnot, break through walls. Very gory. It's got that 8-bit blood guts to it. And, uh, yeah, again, you play as a killer. You play as the monster. So that's a lot of fun. So this was actually so fun. Still got to finish it, but in due time. It's kind of like that Metroid where you have to go back and forth to different parts of the levels. To if you couldn't get to one spot, you had to get to another. So you have to move on. Then you have to go back, get to that one spot that you couldn't get to, vice versa. But again, it's pretty cool. I love the whole thing type monster in this game. You have red and blood and tentacles and shit like that. You grow teeth. <laughs> fun time. Next up is another survival type movie, movie, survival type horror game. See, I'm so used to talking about movies and talk about movies, and that's called Monstrum. Monstrum pretty much is a survival. You have to go along, kind of like a Doom esque, but you don't really have many guns. It's more trying to survive and outdo the monster and uh, try to survive. Now, the weird part about this game is. <clears throat> Once you d die, you start off in the back in the beginning again, but everything's different. Like if a flashlight was on your left, it could be further down to the right. It constantly changes. Like certain items where you would think they would be have now been moved. So it's always changing. And the creatures are always coming after you, and you had to try to run and survive. This lava one's pretty neat. So yeah, Monster, if you like survival horror, def definitely recommend it. Y'all know I like uh, H.P. Lovecraft, so I picked up uh, Call of Cthulhu. I just got this in the other day. I heard it's like a survival horror uh, mystery game. So if anybody's played this one, let me know. Can't wait to get that one to check out. And I actually just got this in the mail the other day. It's still sealed. <laughs> I got to open up. It's my first big box. And that is uh, Lovecraft's Untold Stories. Yeah, this is a big box edition. I guess it comes with uh, like a pen... And uh, cards, an art book, a soundtrack, lithographs. Like, okay, this is almost like a deluxe edition Blu-ray 4K type thing. But I guess this is when you're looking down on the character, kind of like a, a Diablo-esque. And you play, you know, get the free other 
survivors. You get to play as them too. And these are the characters you get to play. Uh, so to my knowledge, I have to open this up and check it out. Uh, if anybody's seen this and played this game, let me know, guys. But yeah, this is my first big box. I don't I never owned a big box. And uh, this is from like uh, Peggy's Peggy release. Yeah, different releases. All right, guys, so that is it for my horror. I can say Blu-ray. <laughs> my horror PS4 video game collection. So, guys, let me know in the comments down below. Do you like playing video games? Do you like uh, collecting uh, games? If there are any cool horror games to pick up that I should be grabbing, uh, let me know in the comments down below. I'm always looking for new games for a challenge. Again, I have a whole different PS4 section that is just, you know, other games itself, too. So, I have a whole couple towers small towers <laughs> uh blind games so if i find them cheap i pick them up and play them because you never know like five and below five bucks for a game the game could suck could be fun you're only spending five bucks you never know that i wish i could find horror games like that but eh, it is what it is but again guys thanks very much for watching i know i went a little askew here and went toward the gaming section but i kind of want to show that off and show that there's other stuff out there <clears throat> and i hope you enjoyed this uh, video again if you haven't like and subscribe and again please let me know in the comments down below do you want to see uh more of my ps4 games uh to say matt stop talking about other shit and just talk about movies <laughs> let me know guys i'd like to hear your thoughts and again thank you very much for watching and let me know down in the comments down below again stay safe peace